Hi everyone. Listen, this is my most favorite kids book in the store right now, The Barnabas Project. It's written by the Fan Brothers. Um, I can't even begin to tell you how wonderful the Fan Brothers do their illustrations and they write their books. Um, you may remember them from illustrating Chris Hadfield's book um, as well as their own book. So this is brand new. It's just come out in September. Um, it's about Barnabas. He's half mouse and he's half elephant. And I just get all warm and fuzzy thinking about this. The Barnabas Project. I'm actually going to take this cover off while I read it. Barnabas lived in a secret lab. He was half mouse and half elephant. And he had lived in the lab as long as he could remember. The lab was hidden beneath perfect pets on a perfectly ordinary street. It was deep underground where no one would ever find it. Can you believe that under the street? Holy. The lab was where they made perfect pets, except Barnabas wasn't quite perfect. He had been put in a part of the lab called failed projects. His home was rather small, but that just meant it was easier to keep tidy. The green rubber suits always felt, always fed Barnabas his favorite food, which was cheese and peanuts. And yet he sometimes wondered about the world outside of his little bell jar. It was Pip the Cockroach who told them stories about the world above. Stories about a sparkling silver lake, green trees, and mountains that reached all the way to the sky, lit with their own stars. Maybe someday I'll sit on the grass and look at the stars, said Barnabas. And when he closed his eyes, he almost could. Impossible, said Pip. Nothing is impossible, said Barnabas, but secretly he worried his friend might be right. At that moment, the green rubber suits came in. They turned on the lights and checked each bell jar one by one. They made strange noises to each other. They peered and they poked, they peeked and they prodded. They put red stamps on all the jars. Then they left. The red stamps say, fail. said Barnabas, looking up at the strange red stamp. It means you're going to be recycled, said Pip. That's what happens to all failed projects. You'll be fluffier afterwards, offered Pip kindly. And you'll be cuter, and your eyes will probably be bigger. I like having small eyes, said Barnabas, although he wasn't even sure anymore. Barnabas slumped in his jar. He wasn't fluffy enough and his eyes were beady, but he liked himself just the way he was. And what if after he was recycled, peanuts and cheese were no longer his favorite foods? What if his friends didn't recognize him after? What if he no longer cared about green trees and mountains lit with their own stars? Oh, look how sad he looks, so sad. We need to escape, said Barnabas suddenly. The other failed projects gasped. But then they cheered. Impossible, said Pip. Nothing is impossible, said Barnabas. He took a step back. And he kicked as hard as he could. He charged at the glass, but the bell jar was much stronger than he was. Finally, Barnabas made a sad sound with his trunk. 
tiny crack appeared. Wah! Look at that, he busted out. Way to go, Barnabas. He was free. Then he freed the others, the dust bunnies, the light up Lois, Bumble Bear, the Ammo Tax, Mushroom Sloth, Wally the Ripple, Stick One and Stick Two, Quirt, Moshi, Pompadou, Fertile, Blinky, The Bottle Mogs, Lowell, Percival, Spike, Pinto, Chloe, Peep, Leaf, all of them. You have to understand, they had never been outside of their jars before. There was quite a commotion. They whooped and sang, they chirped and hooted, they stretched their legs and jumped for joy. When they calmed down a bit, they peeked over the edge. The floor was far below. Now what, said Quirt? We have to work together, said Barnabas. One by one, they helped each other down. Okay, so I really like this fuzzy guy. That guy. I'm not sure what his name is, but I really like him. Until they finally reached the floor. Shh, said Barnabas. And they all fell silent. Then they heard it too. Footsteps in the corridor outside. said Barnabas we can go through here he didn't like dark places but the footsteps were getting closer Yikes. everyone crawled into the vent with light up Lois leading the way it was a tight squeeze for some of them the vent led into the most secret part of the secret lab they all looked up Pip, but Barnabas couldn't run. The great sad eyes seemed to be looking directly at him. We can't leave it behind, said Barnabas. It's scary, said Pip. It's monstrous, said Quirt. It's appalling, said the ammo tax. It's a failed project, said Barnabas, just like us. They worked together to turn the green valve that opened the tank, but it was too late. The green rubber suits had found them. Just when all seemed lost, the tank doors flung open and water flooded into the lab. What is this guy? Water carried them. Up to the world above. Look, they're in the pet store. Perfect pets pet store. When they finally opened their eyes, they were in a puddle surrounded by shelves of perfect pets. Everyone ran toward the exit. Okay, look at these perfect pets. They're kind of fuzzy. Everybody's running. Barnabas stopped. It was almost like looking in a mirror, except Barnaby's, Barnaby's eyes were bigger and his fur was like cotton candy. Here's Barnaby. He was perfect. Barnabas, Pip, call, Pip called from the front of the store. Look, it's the outside world. Barnabas ran to join his friends. He might not be perfect. But he was free. Oh my, look what they've done to the building.
The world was much bigger than Barnabas and his friends ever could have imagined. And just like Pip said, there were mountains that reached to the sky, lit with their own stars. You were right, said Pip. Nothing is impossible. Soon they found a place full of sunshine and happy noises and green trees and soft grass. A place that might be home. Oh, look at them, they're all up in the tree. That's sweet. It wasn't always easy. But they always stuck together. That's nice. I love that book. Whoops. Get the cover again. So listen, if you come and you want a good storybook for Christmas, I'm selling you this one, okay? I love it so much. Thank you.